In this lecture, we are going to learn about conjugate beam method. It is a general method to find slope and or deflection at particular points in a statically determinate structure. Here note that we use this to find slope and deflection in statically determinate structure, but we use this method to solve statically indeterminate structure. So for example, if I want to find support reaction at B using conjugate beam method in this structure, here note that at A we have fixed support. So number of unknowns at A will be 3 that is horizontal reaction, vertical reaction and moment and number of unknowns at B will be 1 that is vertical reaction at B. So total number of unknown reactions is 4 and we can only draw one free body diagram for the beam. So total number of equilibrium equations is 3. So degree of static indeterminacy is equals to total number of unknown reactions minus total number of equilibrium equations and that will be 4 minus 3 that is equals to 1. So here our beam which is a propped cantilever beam is statically indeterminate with indeterminacy 1. So to use conjugate beam method in solving this we break down this propped cantilever beam into two cantilever beams where we remove the support at B and replace that by a vertical reaction RB at B. So the structure 1 that is a cantilever beam with the original loading and the structure 2 with same structure but loading is only support reaction at B. Now sum of structure 1 and 2 will give us our original structure if the downward displacement of B in structure 1 that is YB1 in downward direction is equals to upward placement of point B in structure 2 that is YB2 in upward direction and this equation is generally known as compatibility equation. So if compatibility equation is satisfied then superimposition of structure 1 and 2 will give us our original structure. So now we use conjugate beam method to find vertical displacement of point B in structure 1 whereas for structure 2 which is very common structure in prop cantilever beam type of problems and therefore we remember the result for vertical displacement of end B in upward direction and that in this case YB2 will be RB L cubed upon 3 EI. Now to find vertical displacement of point B in beam 1 we use conjugate beam method. In conjugate beam method we convert the given beam into what we call a conjugate beam and to do that we replace fixed support by a free end that is where originally there was a fixed support that becomes a free end. We replace free end by a fixed support that is where originally we had free end. We now have a fixed support and hinge or roller support remains hinge or roller support. We do not make any change in hinge support or roller support. And also the load on conjugate beam is M upon EI diagram of given beam. That is we find bending moment diagram for given beam with given load and then divide that by EI and apply that as loading on our conjugate beam. Now once we have done that then there are two theorems about conjugate beam which are also called Mohr's theorems and that give us result for slope and displacement at a particular point in original beam. So Mohr's first theorem says that slope at any section of the given beam is equals to shear force at the same section in the conjugate beam and 
the Morse second theorem says deflection at any section of the given beam is equals to bending moment at the same section in the conjugate beam.